Good morning, guys. It's Hannah, and today is my birthday. I am 28 years old, and I received this amazing gift in the mail the other day. But I need y'all to comment below. Like, do you think I should go out in this tonight, or is it too much? Because if it's too much, I'm going out in it tonight. Hello? Whew, y'all, I had to take that wig off. Good Lord, my head was a damn sauna. So I thought it would be the perfect time to share a success story of living with bipolar 2 disorder and hopefully encouraging you guys to give me a gift, which is to do a response video or comment below and share your experience about what has been a big success in your life? And that means even something like getting out of bed or, or anything you want. Please share that with me. I think those of you who live with a mental health condition, you can feel me when I say, man, you're just constantly told to doubt yourself. You know, doubt your happiness, doubt your sadness, doubt your beliefs, your ideas. Every single thing you do or say is questioned and you're insecure. And when I hit that publish button on my personal blog, Halfway to Hannah, in January of 2016, I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, people told me that it would fail. Career counselors told me it was a horrible idea. You're not going to get a date. You're not going to get a husband. You're, you know, you're, you're going to ruin your life by doing this. But the difference was that for the first time in my life, I believed in myself. Don't wait around for people to accept your condition or, or accept you. Shut off all that noise around you. If I had listened to what other people said, what society said, what stigma said, I wouldn't be here today. I would be miserable. You know, living this like robotic life, you know, Hannah do this, uh, pretend I'm happy on the outside when really I'm dying on the inside. And that's no life at all. On September 11th, 1989, my parents had a little girl and little did they know that their daughter was going to be born with a different mind than a lot of the other children probably in that hospital that day. And I thrived as a child, and I embraced those differences about myself, but as I got older, this label was attached to it with darkness behind it. And I lost that ability to just live. And then along this journey up until 28, I've learned to embrace my disorder, and I can say that on September 11, 1989, I wasn't born with a thing that makes me incapable of success. I was born with a gift. It may not be a gift that's wrapped in the prettiest box. It's got a lot of, you know, it's, it's been thrown around a couple times, rough edges, but it's still a gift nonetheless. That's how I have to look at it. So here, of course, my mental health warrior sending all the love in the world to you, um, especially those of you who have lost hope and encouraging those of you who are rocking it to keep on rocking it. Of course, Hurricane Harvey and 9-11, um, but I'm sending you guys these balloons in spirit. Okay, so I cannot wait to see you next week. Two to lose, people. I'm 28.